world's smallest smushy mushy, world's smallest MLP, world's smallest LOL. Oh, hello. How you doing? Well, but I'm not the world's smallest LOL. I'm just a normal hell rose LOL. Oh, 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 I know. You should make the world's smallest LOL since there isn't any already. Oh, she does have a point. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Happy, happy Friday. It's another episode of TGIF on our favorite day of the week, Friday. And today I will be attempting the world's smallest LOL doll. Well, she won't be technically the world's smallest LOL doll, but even with the world's smallest toys, they are still slightly big. They're not tiny miniatures they're just a lot smaller than the originals so we're gonna try to make a tinier version of witch a baby and we're gonna fit her inside this makeshift lol hair goals capsule that we're gonna be making out of this fake lo schmill hair curler and the hardest part is gonna be we're gonna have to make her functional just like world's smallest toys and we're also gonna have to give her real hair oh you got that right I need real hail on the world's smallest birthday baby. Okay, so let's not wait any longer and let's get this party started. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna sit back and relax and watch the show. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see the world's smallest LOL. Okay, so first step up, we're gonna need some polymer clay. I like to use Sculpey 3 because it's the softest of the clay. And this is oven baked clay, so we're gonna have to bake this after we shape it out and get it exactly how we want it. Now we've got a whole bunch of colors to choose from, but none of it really matches Witchy Baby's skin color. I think this one would probably be the closest and we're probably gonna have to mix it up with a bit of brown. Now I'm gonna take a paper clip and shape it so that I can build my LOL doll around it. That way I can avoid going over the size I need for my hair goals capsule because I do tend to make things a little bit on the bigger side. And this will also help when I'm trying to make her into a tinkler. That way we'll have the fully functional ability of the world's smallest toys. All right, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of orange. And instead of using this brown, I'm gonna use this brown. This is also Sculpey 3. Maybe this will get me that skin color that I need. And you can already see how soft this Sculpey clay is. It's much softer than any of the other polymer clays that I've worked with. We will mix this up. Okay, this is what we ended up with. Not bad. I think this is pretty much close to Witch A Baby's skin tone. So we're gonna go with this. First piece up is gonna be her head. Make a little ball, kind of smush the sides in, and make it a little bit more like an LOL doll head. Okay, here comes the tricky part. Where I want the mouth to be is where this is gonna go through, probably around right there. Now I can start building around this. Okay, so now that I've got the general shape of her head, I'm gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're back after she's baked for a little bit. It's time to add a little body for her. And now it's time for her tiny little arms. Okay, so slight change of plans. Instead of using this paper clip, I'm gonna use this pipe cleaner and just remove the hairs to get the wire in the center. And that's what I need to put through Witchy Baby's head and her body. And that way I can get her arms and legs to move too. Oh, so cute. There's our little basic frame. And now I'm going to shape a brand new body around the metal pieces.
time for some fingers. She's looking less like a turkey and more like a dolly. Yeah, so we're back from baking and the wire for the legs and the arms are pretty much useless, but it was worth a try. So what I'm gonna do at this point is just make her legs as if we didn't have any wire over there. Let's make her some boots. Now it's time for an outfit. We're gonna get an itty bitty skirt on her. Now I'm just touching up her head, making it a little bit more rounded and giving her some ears. Plus, LOL doll's faces aren't entirely flat, so I'm gonna add the details of her lips. Very, very small little details, so I'm gonna try not to mess it up. World's smallest witchy baby needs a little top. We're gonna get her signature black gloves on. Now let's add some stars and moons to her skirt. And of course now we can LOLify her face. that we create her some hair. Now this won't be easy. I have this witchy white wig and we're gonna cut out some hairs from here and then glue it on to her tiny little head. I'm gonna take some tape, just about that much will do. And I'm gonna take the hair and spread it just a little ways onto a piece of tape, making sure the hairs are spread out nice and even. And then I'm gonna add some nail glue to the other side of the tape. And then I'm gonna fold this on over the hair. I'm gonna keep on making several of these hair wefts and once they're dry, I can place them on her little head. Take some hot glue, trying to be really careful and not mess up our dolly, and glue her hair weft onto her head. I'm gonna do it this way because I'm gonna flip it over once it's dried to try to get Witchy Baby's bangs. Okay, so that's the direction I'm trying to get the hair to go. to give her a hot water dip and that'll help her hair relax a bit. Okay, I've got the hot water and before any of you try this at home, please be sure to get the help of a grown-up. Don't try doing this on your own because I'm dealing with some hot stuff and you can definitely burn yourself. We don't want that. Alrighty, that is pretty hot, hot, hot. And this way, once we've got her hair a little bit on the drier side, it will relax and go the way we want it to. I think Witchy Baby needs a haircut now. Just about that much. Yep, it's looking like her hair already. We're gonna go with this side too, just about this much. 
as you guys know, with world's smallest toys, they don't have a lot of hair for the little toys. So we're just gonna leave it minimal for Witchy Baby because we don't want her head to weigh down her body since her body's so tiny. And we're gonna give her another dunk in the hot water. That should be good for her hair. So two last very important things that I don't wanna forget are Witchy Baby's stripes on her tights and also her hat. The hat is also another tricky part because we gotta get the sizing right. Now on to the capsule. What we're gonna do is cut out this printout of the LOL Hair Goals wrapper. And I've also got a collector's guide. Using any glossy packaging tape, you can pretty much take this and tape it onto here. Just put the tape over and around your capsule. And to get our capsule to open again, I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife and cut us an opening. Ooh, I almost forgot the world's smallest logo. So many minor details that we don't want to miss out on. Let's place it right over here so it doesn't get in the way of opening and closing our capsule. Perfect. And for a miniature filter, we can just use the original filter, cut out the center, and mark around it with some marker. Maybe acrylic paint will work better. Yep, I'm liking how that looks. Last step is securing everything with a bit of matte varnish. That way we get our mini little witchy baby looking cute for a very, very long time. Okay, and I forgot the stripes on her legs. We have to put that in there. And finally, we have finished our world's smallest LOL doll. And it just so happens to be a hair goals LOL doll. So here is our little makeshift capsule. Let's pop it open and get our doll out. Here she is. Oh! Owie! Oh, wiggle me! Are you okay? Well, she kind of decided to make a grand entrance. But here she is. It's the world's smallest little witchy baby. And I love how there's no hair in the back. But hey, in my defense, that's how the world's smallest dolls are. They don't have the most luxurious of hair in their tiny little forms. So at least she looks good from the front. She's got real hair. She's kind of articulated, which means she's a little bit poseable. She can move her head. I tried to get her arms and legs to move, but that just didn't work out. We've got all the minor details that Witchy Baby has, including a hair goals mirror. Wowie. And a hair goals collector's guide. Super teeny tiny, nice and folded, just like the real deal. Plus, okay, I kinda cheated. The only thing that was not the world's smallest is her hat. It couldn't fit in the capsule, but here she is, her final look. She looks adorable. She looks like she would be Witchy Baby's little doll. Here's a teeny tiny size comparison. Oh, you really are just so, so cute. Oh, she really is. I want the world's smallest version of me. Yeah, me too. She's like a little itty bitty baby doll. You called? Oh, hey baby doll. No, I was just saying this. Uh, oh, are you okay with the baby? Oh, hey. Now for the moment of truth. Can our teeny tiny world's smallest witchy baby tinkle? Let's find out. Okay, so her mouth is super tiny. I know there's gonna be water spilling everywhere, but we're trying to look and see if she can tinkle. Okay, it's coming out of her, <laughs> it's coming out of her neck. We don't want it coming out of there. Tinkle, tinkle, little star. Oh, did I just see some tinkle? Wait a minute, did she tinkle or not? She's supposed to, I made her to tinkle. Oh no, but all the water's coming out of there. Let's try our poopsie syringes. They are huge too, but maybe they might just get the job done. Keep a lookout. Can we do it? Okay, it's just spilling out of her mouth. 
I don't want to say fail, but it's a fail. So far, until I can find something that is thin enough to fit inside her mouth so we can get some pinkle out. Well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys had an awesome time making the world's smallest LOL hair goals with me. On that note, have an extra amazing, awesomely wonderful Friday, and I will see you later. Bye for now.